COVID-19, wasn't it great for the planet, that is? Despite all the negative effects that the pandemic had on us, our environment has had an overhaul. From the crystal clear waters of the Venice canals to the flawless blue skies over China's most polluted cities, the pandemic has clearly created a natural and colossal shift and with it the momentum for long-term change. The challenge we face today is harnessing this momentum, following nature's flow and combating climate change once and for all. The World Economic Forum, one of the most powerful, impacted and deep-rooted organisations in the world, recognises and has prioritised the need for a dramatic reset. Stemming from the pandemic, their Great Reset initiative aims to build back our precious economies, but in a fairer, more sustainable and environmentally friendlier way. And more importantly, the world will be looking at us this year. The United Nations Climate Change Conference is being held on our soil, Glasgow. We have the opportunity to prove that the UK is a world leader in climate action. It's our time to sow the seeds of revolution and scatter the kernels of change. I'm Hannah and I'm here representing the University of East Anglia, a leading research university in climate change. And today I act as an amb ambassador for this mi mission. But I'm not just a student at UEA. I'm a lifelong servant for the climate change movement. For many years now, I have been volunteering with my local scout group. We have been sowing the seeds of hope for our society and the planet. Our latest project was planting 150 metres of hedgerow. This, like many of our other projects, teaches the next generation how to care for the planet, how to restore the natural and precious world that we live in and embed something with a lasting legacy. And it's planting trees that is at the root of my mission today. Planting trees is something that everybody can get involved with. Whoever you are, whatever you do, and wherever you live. We all know that deforestation is harmful, but do you truly know why? Firstly, the core environmental reason. Trees absorb greenhouse gases. What is a greenhouse gas? Well, they are gases that trap heat within the Earth's atmosphere so that the planet warms up. You've probably heard of global warming, and greenhouse gases are the cause of that. One of the worst greenhouse gases is carbon dioxide, also known as CO2. Luckily, trees are experts at absorbing CO2. The specific amount they can absorb varies depending on size and the variety of the tree, but roughly a mature tree can be expected to absorb 48 pounds worth of CO2 in just one year. Once the trees have taken in the CO2, they convert it back out to oxygen, which we can then use to breathe. Secondly, the ecological reason for planting trees is that they support our wildlife. They do this by creating homes, food and shade for animals. Supporting animals and our wildlife is essential at this juncture. Human beings have been destroying habitats, our trees, for hundreds of years. In the last 40 years alone, a forest the size of Europe has been cut down. This has caused many animals to become extinct and many more will follow if we do not right our wrongs. Orangutans, tigers, chimpanzees, jaguars, they're all grave victims of our actions and are at serious risk of extinction. It's time we stop this recklessness. We need to start rebuilding the homes that we have destroyed 
before any more animals become extinct. Planting trees minimises the, these malicious effects on the planet and our wildlife. But it's also almost as if nature predicted one of our biggest current human challenges, the decline of our mental health. And this is my final argument. Trees are a natural antidote to the mental health crisis. A study completed in Sydney, Australia, showed that in areas with a tree canopy of 30%, the chances of developing a mental health issue like stress or depression were reduced by as much as 31%. This is extremely beneficial and powerful way of helping to improve our mental health as we flourish from this pandemic. But this is all great in theory, but how much does it cut all this cost and how do I even go about planting trees? Granted, trees can seem expensive. Anything from £25 for a small sapling to over £100 for a more developed tree. And even if you fundraise, your community may only be able to buy a few trees. So here's the solution. The Woodland Trust has a scheme that opens once a year where schools and communities can receive free trees. Different varieties like silver birch, crabapple, oak and hawthorn, all of these species are more are on offer. Different numbers depending on the amount of space that you have. And all of these trees are sent in perfect time for planting season. So planting trees doesn't technically have to be a burden on your purse strings. Realistically though, we don't all live in the countryside. So what if I don't have the space to plant trees? The office worker in a one bed flat in Tottenham, the family in a 20 storey tower block in Birmingham. We don't always have the space or a community to support us planting trees. Does this mean that it's not your responsibility to help? No, everybody needs to help combat climate change, but not everybody can do it in the same way. Some people need to branch out in another direction to help. You don't have the space in your community to plant trees. You can still be a part of the progress and support an organization that will plant trees on your behalf, whether they do that here in the UK or abroad. Supporting organisations like this doesn't have to cost you a penny either. Imagine if you could support climate change by just doing an everyday task like searching on the internet, something that most people will do every single day, potentially even multiple times a day. Ecosia is a search engine that uses its profits to plant trees from around the world, including here in the UK. They are currently working on a project with the NHS, planting trees at different hospitals up and down the country as a tribute to the frontline workers of the pandemic. Ecosia even runs their service via solar panels so that the entire search engine can be carbon neutral. So just by going about your everyday life, searching on the internet, you can actually be helping to plant trees and look after our planet. If the world's most influential organisations are doubling down on climate change, ask yourself, how are you contributing? How are you contributing to the Great Reset? Be nature's scout and help to plant back better. Help to prove that the world, that the UK is a leader in climate action. Whether you plant trees yourself among your community or support an organisation like Ecosia that will plant on your behalf, you can help save the planet. Humanity is at a crossroads. Let's make sure that we go in the right direction and help the Great Reset by planting back better. Thank you.